What's up everyone and thank you for choosing to learn with Lamb. Today we're going to do a short side lesson on how to calculate the amount of excess reactant left over in a reaction. To start, remember that to calculate what's left over, you simply need to know how much you started with and subtract how much you used. If I start off with 12 slices of pizza and I eat 10, I'm going to have two slices left over. The same is true for moles, so the equation would look like this. And mass works the same way too, so we'd have this equation. So let's practice. What mass of excess reactant is left over when reacting 10.0 grams of hydrogen and 100 grams of oxygen to create water? As with any stoichiometry problem, we need to start with a balanced chemical equation. And from there, I'm going to list my givens, so 10.0 grams of hydrogen and 100 grams of oxygen. Now, I'm looking for the leftover mass of my excess reactant, but I'm not sure which reactant is excess yet, so let's figure that out first. I'm going to go through this pretty quickly, but for a more detailed description of how to find limiting reactant, you can take a look at the limiting and excess reactant video, which is in the description below. Anyway, I've got my masses and molar masses of hydrogen and oxygen, and I'm going to find the moles of each using the mass to moles equation. From there, I divide both moles by their coefficient to find their relative values, and I can see that there are relatively fewer moles of hydrogen, so that's my limiting reactant, making oxygen my excess reactant. I'm going to just move my excess reactant title up here to get it out of the way, and I'm going to just erase these calculations since we only needed them to identify excess reactant and limiting reactant anyway. Now that we know that oxygen is the excess reactant, we know that 3.125 moles is the initial amount of moles, and what I'm looking for is the amount of moles used. For that, I'm going to ratio over my limiting reactant, since I know all of that was used up, and that it controls how much of the other reactants is used up as well. There's a 2 to 1 ratio between hydrogen and oxygen, so that means my reaction used 2.47527 moles of oxygen. From there, I know that moles left over equals moles initial minus moles used, so 3.125 moles minus 2.47525 moles gives me 0.64925 moles left over. But we're not quite done yet. Just a reminder that the question was looking for the mass of the leftover, so we just need to convert our moles to mass. And since we're working with oxygen here, the molar mass is still 32.00 grams per mole, so that gives me 20.8 grams. And that's that. As always, if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below. Good job, everyone. If you find that you need a little extra help, please feel free to check out my other videos for tips and tricks on how to succeed in school. And as always, thanks for learning with Lamb.